Hey, what's up? This is Jeff. And guess what? I got a little tiny baby. I got a little tiny baby. I got a little tiny baby. I am going to unbox the uh, Baby Hawk right here. So nothing fancy, uh, just unboxing uh, this bad boy. So here we go. Stickers right here. Okay, and then next we have pretty much like a card, uh, pretty much the manuals and the support and all that fun jazz. Next is pretty much the uh, Cadex support right here. It's the Vista kit. And here is the uh, drone itself. So uh, essentially we have the uh, pretty much the Vista camera that's right here. And uh, the motors. And pretty much where to charge to plug in with the battery the uh, antenna right here and the cadex the props okay so um, we also have the uh, set of screws right here and the set of screws are gonna go with the uh, the props and everything so that's what we got so this is pretty much what we got okay so first things that we want to do on the setup is pretty much uh, scan the uh, QR code for the manuals right here and of course you're gonna get to the manual and it tells you the directions of the propellers Okay, so essentially what we want to do is pretty much like put the uh, battery on and turn it on that way. All right, perfect. So next what we want to do is just pretty much just do the configuration with the TBS Tango 2 and of course the FPV goggles. So yeah, let's just uh, put this into better flight and uh, continue the configuration there. Okay, so let's go ahead and then activate the uh, the uh, Cadix Vista. All right, so first thing you wanna do is pretty much activate the air unit right here and pretty much follow all the prompts and uh, it's pretty self-explanatory and make sure that your firmware is updated. Okay, now that the update is complete, we are going to um, pretty much exit out and uh, as you can see, the uh, version is current, which is V01000606. So now we can uh, return to Betaflight and uh, do our modifications there. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is calibrate the accelerometer in uh, beta flight. And uh, pretty much uh, go over to ports and make sure that everything is set up correctly there, as you guys can see. And uh, then go into configuration and pretty much uh, make sure that um, everything is uh, pretty much in order. And then go into the power and battery, check that, but there's not really much to do here. Um, pit tuning, you definitely wanna put your, the rates that you're comfortable with, but I'm gonna skip that for now. And then the receiver, once we actually bind, we're gonna come back to it. And then you gotta check the modes, uh, just to see that the buttons are pretty much um, selected to your liking. Um, I do have like a specifics where I actually select one, aux one, two, three, and four on the TBS Tango. Aux one right here is the arm switch. Aux two is pretty much for angle, horizon, and full acro. And the uh, aux three 
if this thing can actually stay on aux 3 is pretty much your beeper and this can be aux 4 can be actually used for the turtle mode let's get back into beta flight so the motors i'm just gonna leave everything on default so the osd i am going to do a little bit of tweaking here and again it's got to be to your liking so i'm just going to select the altitude the three uh check marks check boxes there battery average cell vo voltage i'm going to select that core temperature i'm just going to select uh, just that one box display name definitely want to put that there and the RS, RSSI DBM value and the RSSI value and the warnings because you definitely need to have your warnings. So the units is going to be Imperial and you got to make sure that the warnings are selected to your liking. Again, I don't want to miss anything. So I'd rather just really have the uh, battery warning, core temperature, ESC fail, fail safe, GPS rescue. Uh, launch, launch controller, RSSI, it's not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with that. But um, the visual beeper is on. Real quickly, let's get back to pit tuning. Right here, I'm just pretty much like adjusting the rates to my liking, and this is just my liking only, so you can do it as you want. Um, but this is just me and this is how I have my rate set up. So pretty much you can adjust your roll, your pitch and your yaw to your liking. Okay guys, so I noticed that the first thing that I wanna do is to, as far as like hardware goes, I would like to just bind the uh, goggles with the uh, Emacs uh, Baby Hawk 2. So let's bind the goggles really quickly. Okay, so really quickly, before you bind the uh, Emacs in the uh, DJI FPV goggles, you need to make sure that both uh, are on the same version of the firmware. So make sure that the firmware is updated to the current version. At this point, I've updated my uh, Cadex Vista to uh, 06 and also the goggles at the version uh, 06 or 0 0.06 or whatever the case may be make sure you do update it before you do anything else make sure that the uh drone is turned on just like that and then make sure that you also power on the uh dji v2 goggles First. All right, so once you actually uh, get feed, in this case, I already bind it, but I'm just gonna do it over again, just to make sure. So let's do this really quickly. So pretty much just, you will need a paper clip and make sure you do have the paper clip and then uh, hit that button right here, the bind button. And it goes red okay so once it goes red just make sure you uh, pretty much put the paper clip into the uh, goggles and now it's binding okay so once this is bind binded we do have feed right here and this is how you bind the uh, goggles with the uh, baby hawk Okay, so next thing you want to do is bind the TBS Tango 2 to the drone. Okay, so one crucial steps that uh, I forgot that you need to do before binding the uh, Tango 2 into the uh, aircraft is to pretty much make sure that the Tango 2 has a model installed on there. Welcome to Tango 2. Switch warning. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, pretty much create a model right quick. Okay, so model select. All right, so what I'm gonna do is pretty much select this, for example. Right here, let's go ahead and create a model. And of course, we're gonna pull multi and just go through it, throttle, page right here, roll. Page, pitch, page, y'all, page arm, 
mode everything looks good and press long to confirm and then we have a model created so this is really important just to make sure that the model is created first and once that's done then you can go and uh, start the binding process of the Tango 2 with the uh, Emacs. All right, so right here we are back on the uh, Baby 2 model. And once that is actually done, then we can actually go ahead and uh, pretty much hit right here. TBS Agent Light right here. Of course, Tango 2 Crossfire. And then we can go right here and bind there we go and then we just hit bind so once this is done you need to make sure that you just uh screw the uh top plate back up of course so uh do not unscrew here those two screws just unscrew that that one the middle one and the two right here up top and once you actually screw that back up you should be good to go It's alive! It's alive! So excited. Okay, so now we are going to do uh, one last check when it comes to uh, beta flight. We just want to make sure that we go over the parts that I skipped earlier. So essentially what we want to do is get back into the um, receiver just to double check that everything is responsive. Let's get back into beta flight. On the receiver, we just want to make sure that the throttle is responsive. The aux one is responsive. Aux two is responsive. Aux three is when you press that button. And aux four. Just want to make sure that all buttons respond. Okay, so uh, once everything is said and done, your baby Max should be uh, ready to go. So thanks a lot for checking out this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications for the next time I am dropping a video so you can actually catch the latest one. Um, I hope that this video was helpful in helping you uh, configure and set up your baby hog too. Uh, I am Jeff with SSH Jones and I am signing off. Thanks a lot guys. Later. Peace.